Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about relative molecular mass. We have already learned about the relative atomic masses of the atoms of different elements, wherein we have used the standard unit as 1 U, whose value was taken to be 1 12th of the mass of a carbon 12 isotope. Now this means that a carbon atom weighs 12 U. Or we can say that the relative atomic mass of a carbon atom is 12 U. And we have also used this standard value to calculate the relative atomic mass of an oxygen atom. And we have found out that its value is 16 U. Or we can say that the relative atomic mass of an oxygen atom equals 16 U. Now in this table, I have shown the atoms of different elements in this side. And this side has the relative atomic masses of these atoms. For example, a hydrogen atom has a relative atomic mass of 1U. And for a carbon atom, it is 12U. For a nitrogen atom, it is 14U and so on. Now, a carbon dioxide molecule has one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. And we have seen that a carbon atom has a relative atomic mass of 12U. And an oxygen atom has a relative atomic mass of 16 U. Now when we go for weighing this carbon dioxide molecule, we would find that the mass of this whole carbon dioxide molecule is equal to the sum of the masses of these three constituent atoms, which is one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. Now let us find the quantity that is there in this side, that is the sum of the masses of these three atoms. Now, the sum of the masses of these three atoms, that is one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms, seems to be 12U plus 16U plus 16U. Now, these three numbers add up to give a, a mass of 44U. Now, this 44U is the mass of this whole carbon dioxide molecule, which we have got by adding the relative atomic masses of its constituent atoms. Now, this mass is called as the relative molecular mass of this carbon dioxide molecule since we have got it by adding the relative atomic masses of its constituent atoms. Therefore, we define the relative molecular mass of a molecule as the sum of the relative atomic masses of all the atoms of that particular molecule. And it is also measured in terms of U, which is unified mass. Now let us go ahead and find out the relative molecular masses of different molecules. Now the relative molecular mass of a hydrogen molecule is the sum of the relative atomic masses of the two hydrogen atoms which this molecule has. Now every hydrogen atom has a relative atomic mass of 1U. So two hydrogen atoms all together will be having mass of 1U plus 1U that is 2U which means that the relative molecular mass of a hydrogen molecule is 2U. And in the same way, we can find the relative molecular mass of a chlorine molecule, which also has two atoms of chlorine, each with a relative atomic mass of 35.5U. So the total mass or the relative molecular mass of a chlorine molecule becomes 35.5U plus 35.5U, that is 71U. Now, this is a water molecule which has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. And when we go for finding the relative molecular mass of this molecule, we would usually sum up the masses or the relative atomic masses of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atoms. Which means we have to sum up 1U, 1U and 16U which yields 18U. And this means that the relative molecular mass of a water molecule is 18U. Let's do the same thing for some bigger molecules. Now this molecule is called a methane molecule which has one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms. Now in order to find the relative molecular mass of this molecule, we need to sum up the relative atomic masses of four hydrogen atoms and the relative atomic mass of one carbon atom that is 12 U. And this would result in an answer of 16 U which is the relative molecular mass of methane. Now I have another molecule which is ethane 
and this formula its formula is C2H6 which means that it has two carbon atoms along with six hydrogen atoms now when we want to find the relative molecular mass of an ethane molecule we must sum up the relative atomic mass of six hydrogen atoms that is six multiplied by one u where one u is the relative atomic mass of one hydrogen atom and this we have to add it to the relative atomic masses of two carbon atoms which is 2 multiplied by 12u where 12u is the relative atomic mass of one carbon atom now this big equation yields us an answer of 30 on further solving it so this would essentially mean that the relative molecular mass of an ethane molecule is 30u now an ammonia molecule which has a formula of nh3 has one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms now when we want to find the relative molecular mass of this molecule we have to go through the same approach that is we have to find the total uh, relative atomic mass of hydrogen and add it to the total relative atomic mass of nitrogen now here for hydrogen i mean three hydrogen atoms i have put here three multiplied by one u which I have added to the atomic mass or the relative atomic mass of nitrogen which is 14 u. Now this results in an answer of 17 u and this would mean that 17 u is the relative molecular mass of a, a molecule of ammonia. Now here I have a molecule of methanol which has a formula of CH3OH. Now here we can clearly see that it has one carbon atom and the number of hydrogen atoms is 3 plus 1 which is 4 and it has one oxygen atom too. So we will do the same thing here. We will just add up the masses of all the atoms that it has. That is uh, since it has 4 atoms of hydrogen, we will add up the masses of all of them which is 4u and one carbon atom has a mass of 12u. One oxygen atom is of mass 16u. On adding all of these, we find the answer as 32u, which means that the mass of this whole molecule or we can say the relative molecular mass of this molecule of methanol is 32u. So this is all about how to find the relative molecular masses of different molecules. And we have learned in this video that the relative molecular mass of a substance is the sum of the atomic masses of all the atoms of that particular molecule of the substance and we have also expressed it in the units of u which stands for unified mass so this was all about the relative molecular mass and i hope you liked the video thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning